Welcome to our video on the best GPU for the Ryzen 5 5600X. In this video, we will be discussing the top graphics card options that are compatible with the Ryzen 5 5600X processor and the performance you can expect from each one. Whether you're a gamer looking for smooth gameplay or a content creator in need of powerful rendering capabilities, we've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the world of GPUs for the Ryzen 5 5600X. Starting our list with NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 remains one of the best budget GPUs you can get, even though it has been overshadowed by the RTX 3060 and the RTX 3060 Ti. Still, it is hardly the meager plasticky middle child of NVIDIA's GPU lineup. This GPU brings quite a few things to the table. Not only has it mastered Full HD and QHD gaming, but it also lets you bask in the glory of NVIDIA's ray trace future while keeping things affordable, making it the best graphics card for most gamers out there not called the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. With every new generation, the best NVIDIA GeForce graphics cards always get a massive power bump over their predecessors. This time, it's the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060, doing what the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 did before it with some major improvements that blow the best AMT graphics cards it's competing with out of the water. And although the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 does come at a slight price bump over its predecessor, if you're looking for a way to get in on NVIDIA's ray-tracing capable GPUs, the RTX 2060 is an appealing option. This new mid-range graphics card rules over 1080p gaming, fully delivers on 1440p experiences, and can even play games at 4K if you don't mind the more pedestrian frame rate of 30fps. Plus, this graphics card can give users a taste of ray trace gaming, though, not to the uncompromising level of the company's higher end cards. Users on a tighter budget may be better served by the myriad versions of the Radeon RX 590 if they're okay with just gaming at a full HD resolution. Otherwise, the NVIDIA RTX 2060 currently stands unchallenged as one of the best mid range graphics cards you can buy. At number two, it's GeForce RTX 2070. The RTX 2070 is an unquestionably impressive graphics card that puts 4K gaming within reach of mid-range graphics cards. The GPU not only looks exciting because it's the cheapest RTX graphics card you can buy currently, it also packs an impressive transistor count. Spec for spec, this GPU leapfrogs its direct predecessor, the GeForce GTX 1070, by boasting 20% more CUDA cores and 6 depths faster GDDR6 video memory. GeForce RTX 2070 is built around a complete TU-106 GPU. Architecturally, TU-106 is very similar to GeForce RTX 2080's TU-104 and GeForce RTX 2080 ties TU-102 processors. Across the Turing family, TPCs include two streaming multiprocessors, adding up to 36 SMs across TU-106. RTX 2070 ends up with 2304 CUDA cores. 288 tensor cores, 36 RT cores, and 144 texture units. NVIDIA's base clock rate for GeForce RTX 2070 is 1410 MHz with a GPU boost rating of 1620 MHz. 2106 maintains the same 256-bit memory bus as TU-104, and it's likewise populated with 8GB of 14GB slashed as GDDR6 modules capable of moving up to 448GB slashed so 4 megabytes L2 cache and 64 ROPs carry over as well. The only capability blatantly missing is NVLink, which isn't supported on RTX 2070. The RTX 2070 is also DisplayPort 1.4 ready, while there is also support for HEMI 2.0 BHER, simultaneous multi-projection and 8.265 video encoding and decoding. All in all this, GeForce RTX 2070 is another excellent GPU you can consider for your Ryzen 5 5600X processor. At number 3, it's AMD Radeon RX 6600 XD. The AMD Radeon RX 6600 XD is an absolute 1080 powerhouse, easily able to power the latest games at max settings. However, its proximity to the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti makes it hard to recommend for most people. Like the rest of the Radeon RX 6600 graphics cards, the Radeon RX 6600 XD is based on AMD's 7M RDNA 2 graphics architecture. AMD's main focus here was to optimize RDNA, 
working with new features like hardware-accelerated ray tracing and boosting power efficiency. AMD also included Infinity Cache with RDNA 2 graphics cards, which massively improves memory bandwidth. This means that these AMD graphics cards can have more memory for less cache, even though with the RX 6600 XT at least AMD opted for 8GB of GDDR6 memory, rather than the 12GB of GDDR6 that the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 brings to the table. The AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT has 32 RDNA 2 compute units CU, which means you're getting 2048 stream processors SP and 32 ray accelerators, one per CU. The AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT has a boost clock of 2589 MHz and a gain clock of 2359 MHz. The boost clock is basically how fast the GPU will get in short bursty workloads while the game clock is usually what you see while actually playing games. One huge feature has been added since the Radeon RX 6600 XT dropped back on March 2021, though, Fidelity FX Super Resolution or FSR. This is AMD's answer to NVIDIA's Deep Learning Super Sampling DLSS and will basically upscale a game from a lower resolution to your native resolution. This is supported by the Radeon RX 6600 XT but it's also available on pretty much any DirectX 11 ready graphics card, though performance will be much better on AMD's GPUs, at least for now. Another great software feature here is Radeon Boost, especially if you play a lot of fast-paced competitive shooters like Rainbow Six Siege or Apex Legends. This will basically lower the resolution in scenes with a lot of movement, where you wouldn't necessarily notice the extra detail anyway. This then boosts frame rate, and in games like these, a high frame rate can be the difference between winning and losing, so definitely worth enabling. With the Radeon RX 6600 XT, AMD is targeting 1080p gamers, and at that resolution, the Radeon RX 6600 XT absolutely knocks it out of the park. Every game we ran at that resolution had a great performance. All in all, the AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT will easily handle any current generation PC game at 1080p with all the settings maxed out. At number 4, it's RTX 3060 Ti. With the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti, you don't have to break the bank to get access to next-gen graphics performance. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti is based on the same Ampere architecture as the RTX 3080 and gives us a look at what the Ampere lineup will look like in the mid-range and budget segment of the GPU market. With this graphics card, you're getting 8GB of the same GDDR6 memory, found in the RTX 3070, paired with 38 Ampere streaming multiprocessors. However, because of changes NVIDIA has made to its SM since Turing, each of these now has 128 CUDA cores, double out of the 64 in each Turing SM. That means there are now 48 64 CUDA cores in the RTX 3060 Ti, up from 2176 found in the RTX 2060 Super. Power consumption sees an increase over the RTX 2060 Super, but it's not as pronounced as other cards in the NVIDIA Ampere lineup. The total graphics power, TGP, is 200 watts for the RTX 3060 Ti, up from 175 watts for the RTX 2060 Super. It's more, but it shouldn't be so much more that you'll need to worry about upgrading your power supply to accommodate, assuming you have a competent one in the first place, that is. Throughout most of the games we tested the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti in, the graphics card showed its strength in 1440p gaming, with only Red Dead Redemption 2 and Total War. Three Kingdoms resulting in frame rates less than 60 FPS at max settings. And considering just how heavy those two games are, the RTX 3060 Ti scores of 55 FPS and 59 FPS, respectively, are damn impressive. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 T have brings game-changing 1440p performance to the mid-range market and should remain a go-to 1440 card for quite a while, considering how both AMD and NVIDIA have set their sights on 4K as the new flagship battleground. Long story, short combination of Ryzen 5 5600G with RTX 3060 Ti will definitely boost your gaming and graphic performance. At number 5, it's RTX 3070. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 is without a doubt the best graphics card on the market for most people. It delivers performance on par with the RTX 2080 Ti at less than half the price, truly bringing 4K gaming to the mainstream for the first time. 
We can easily recommend RTX 3080 and RTX 3090, but they will be very expensive. And also, the RTX 3070 really provides a quality 1440p experience on high-slash-ultra settings for most games. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 does for 4K gaming what the GeForce GTX 970 did for 1080p gaming back when it was released by bringing a whole new world of image quality to the mainstream PC gamer. Nearly a decade ago, 1080p gaming at max settings and high frame rates was considered the domain of elite PC builds, but all of a sudden the GTX 970 dropped and brought stunning full HD graphics to the best PC games to the everyday player, providing outstanding performance on games that are still considered graphically intensive, such as Batman, Arkham Knight, and The Witcher 3. With the GTX 970, you no longer had to break the bank or make compromises to get high-quality performance. Now the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 has done the same thing for 4K gaming. Regardless, they share one essential thing in common bringing the next revolution in gaming resolution to the masses. There are more powerful graphics cards in the RTX 3000 series line, such as the impressively powerful GeForce RTX 3080 or the RTX 3090, but the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 is still a mighty performer that almost goes head-to-head -head with the previous generation's flagship, the RTX 2080 Ti without costing over $100. And the combination of affordable price and high performance makes it the best graphics card for those priced out of the elite tier RTX 3080 and RTX 3090. And with that, we come to the end of our review. I hope this video helps you to choose the right GPU for your Ryzen 550 600X.